everybody, this is Becky Legira for CoinGeek.com, here with Aaron from the MGA, and I feel like home here because this is the Malta Gaming Authority we're talking about. And Malta is like, you know, really near and dear to my heart because of all my years in the gambling space, so really happy to have you here. Tell me your thoughts on having a big blockchain event in London. What does it feel like to be here? Yeah, it's great. Um, I mean, we've just really been around today. I've been here for my talk, but there's a lot of people here, a lot of excitement, uh, a lot of nice food, and uh, yes. yeah, it's, it's been really nice. Really cool, and we're so happy to have you because the whole purpose of this event was to educate governments and enterprises on blockchain tech and how it can make our lives easier. So we're really happy to have one of the leaders, especially in the gambling space, when it comes to the regulation of blockchain within a, within a niche world for the gambling world. So tell me the MGA stance on blockchain when it comes to your licensees. Yeah, so as I was saying, there is, we've over, over 25 years been regulating this space and over that time we've um, kind of developed the regulations that protect players, they meet the, we kind of really find that balance between protecting the players and also providing the right supports for businesses. Yeah. Um, and we want to maintain that player trust, of course there's always businesses that want to do certain things with blockchain technology they want to do things that are better for them uh, but we can't really just let go of all the requirements that we've built up over the years um, just to just to adopt this new technology we want to do it in a way that we can still maintain the same standards that we're always there with our old requirements and keep the player protected we made sure we're not rushing into it we started with a sandbox policy that was ran for four years and we gained from that experience and then after seeing how operators operated under that we recently this year defined it more and released it as a policy with um, a policy paper no longer a sandbox. Yeah. It's always hard when the new technology comes on the block because you need to kind of get your feet wet and see what's going on. But I know there's some other stakeholders involved with regulation of blockchain when it comes to gambling operators because we cross a lot of different industries here. We have payments, we have just different tech kinds of technology running in the background. So who is involved with protecting the players and putting together the regulations for blockchain in Malta besides the MGA? Um, well, in the in 2018, the MFSA, which is the Malta Financial Services Authority, they released their VFA Act, which covers the, the issuance and um, exchange of VFAs. So they not only do they have their the VFA Act itself, but they also um, license VFA service providers, and those are some of them are payment providers and exchanges. So we can, I guess, we trust that their we rely on their certification for for our licensees who they interact with. So we have that we have it so that our licensees can interact with their. Um, certified payment providers to uh, effect an exchange. So we have all these existing licensees that accept fiat and their systems are all in fiat. And there's all these players who want to pay with their with their cryptocurrencies. Yeah. Uh, all the, these licensed um, service providers, locally licensed service providers, um, can facilitate the exchange as payment providers. The player can pay with their, with their crypto and it's exchanged into fiat and it enters the um, gaming company as Fiat and we know that it's done by a locally licensed um, payment provider and then there's also the, uh, the FIU yep. who are the AML watchdog in Malta and their implementing procedures also cover DOT asset specific checks yep. and as um, subject persons under the implementing procedures our licensees need to follow these uh, and also the service providers and then there's even the MDIA which wow. cover the um, DLT infrastructure, so they have their ITAS, ITAS Act uh, wow. and it covers innovative technology arrangements, which is uh, DLT technology basically. Yeah. And they have their checks laid out for audits that can be carried out in blockchain and also they certify auditors to do these checks. So when it comes to a licensee wanting to hold their transaction data on the blockchain, then we can get MDA approved auditors to audit it. So it's, it's good. A lot of moving parts there, a lot of a lot of stakeholders. But I know that in your presentation you were saying that it's kind of divided into two areas. You have distributed ledger, ledger technology for payments and for technology. Yeah. And these are the two areas, and I love that. I think that you've really got your ducks in order here. <laughs> uh, any, any pieces of advice out there for operators that are looking to get into the blockchain space or not really sure how do they work with the MGA in order to do this in the quickest and best way possible? I mean, 
if they're an existing um, they're an existing gaming company, then definitely the uh, the onboarding of of players who want to, to use crypto through the method I explained with the MFSA licensed uh, payment provider exchanging is very simple. We get the uh, applications through uh, within a couple of weeks um, since they're already licensed. Uh, and then if there's operators who want to accept uh, crypto payments directly, uh, reach out and go onto our website. You can see the contacts there. Reach out, we'll answer any questions you want. We'll be very straight up whether it's going to be feasible or not and whether the approach is, is going to work. So, yeah. Amazing. It makes me so happy to see you here. I really miss Malta. I love the MGA and I hope that you have a great time. Thank Thanks you so much. much. Thank you. And thank you guys so much for watching. It's Becky Giro for CoinGeek.com. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stable coins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Blockchain 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.